Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are at the beautiful Lake Almanor for our TLC for Wild West and Bass Nation. It's Friday, it's our official practice day. Um, never been, I didn't get a chance to come up and pre fish before it went off limits. So, this is it. First time on the water, it's gorgeous out here. Uh, pretty sad seeing all the devastation from the fires from up here the, a couple years ago on the way in, but uh. Down here by the lake, it's gorgeous. Weather's beautiful. Um, should be a great tournament. Um, should be, sounds like it's gonna be a full on smallmouth spawn fest this weekend. So we're gonna see what we can do. Uh, I don't bed fish that often. So I got some learning to do <clears throat> and some playing around. So we're gonna figure it out. Uh, I got a little bit of run to go to where I wanna go. And uh, We'll see what happens today. Hopefully we can find something that'll work for the next two days. It's a two day tournament, so we definitely need to find enough fish and spots for those two days. So fish management's gonna be key. Well, let's see what happens. Thanks for clicking on this one, guys. Like and subscribe, share, leave a comment. Let me know what y'all think. And just look at this place, it is absolutely beautiful. All right, you guys, an hour and 10 hour and 15 minute run to this part of the lake I want to check out. Just got out here, um, kind of scouting around, see if we can't find some bed fish over here and uh, kind of develop a game plan for tomorrow. It's going to be a lot of looking, a lot of scanning today. Not going to be a lot of fishing, but uh, that's how practice is supposed to be done. You know, if we find something offshore, cool. We got to beat the bank. Cool. So, uh, let's see what happens. Ooh, I got one. I got one. Little guy. Oh, there he goes. He came off. Quick release.
Feels like a good fish. Oh man. That's a good one. All right, we're not gonna fish here no more. Fat, what is she? 17 three quarter. Man, look at the head on that thing. That's a big fish. Man, that's a nice one. There you guys go. We're gonna leave this spot. There's fish here. It's a long run to make it, but it's not the only one I saw on the graph. Another one. Try to shake that one off, but it did not want to come off. So they're all up and down this bank right here. So we're gonna leave it. Um, Fifteen. It's two. Okay, fish. So. All right, guys, <clears throat> I think I figured out. They're sitting about 16 to seven feet of water. Um, <clears throat> these clean, rocky banks. Some of these rocky banks have this nasty, like, algae stuff on it. And I'm not catching anything on those. But these clean, this clean rock, especially leading in this little spawning pocket, um, seems to be the deal there's a bunch of fish back there swimming around in the pocket so <clears throat> i just think they're the ones i caught on the other side of this cove those tell me it's more than likely uh some pre-spawners moving in so if i could duplicate that on this side i might have something to work with and then that's going to kind of confirm what i think is going on and if I could do that, then hopefully I could run a few other spots on the way back to the ramp that might be closer. Um, and try to duplicate that over there. So that's my game plan. That's what I'm going to work with. And uh, see what happens. Still got another five and a half hours before I have to be off the water. So I'm going to put in the full day of practice. And... Uh, but I'll start making my way back pretty quick because not pretty quick but here in a little while because it is going to take me a little over an hour to get back so yeah we'll see what happens hopefully we can really put something together because I've been able to do well at this one um, fish all year to get to these so that's the plan alright y'all we shot across the lake and we're going to see if we can duplicate this pattern <clears throat> and hopefully 
find some more spots to fish. Well, I'm not seeing much on this side of the lake, so I think I'm going to go back towards the ramp on the other bank, same bank as the, the ramp, and check some of that stuff over there. I might randomly poke into a couple of the uh, points and whatnot over here, but I'm just not feeling this side right now. I, I don't know what it is. I had a good feeling about it. I found something over there on the other side of the lake. It's just not repeating here. I'm not seeing any fish moving in it, moving into these pockets like they were on the other side. Um, a bunch of fish I saw cruising around shallow, but those ones aren't catchable. So, and bed fishing isn't my strength. So I'm trying to find something that I can feel confident in doing for two days to put ten fish in the kayak. So that's kind of what I'm on the hunt for. Uh, I got excited when I found out that the fish were moving in, into that pocket over there on the that one spot. So I'm hoping I can find a couple more spots like that where they're doing that so I can catch them, catch them coming or going um, and fish more of my style and my strength. So that's what we're looking for. Um, fingers crossed we find some more. We got uh, just under four hours left to practice. So we're going to try. That's the plan. We got to put something together. If I can find something that's a little bit closer, I don't have to burn, you know, two hours of fishing time just to go make that hour and 20 minute run. And that's there and back. So it's kind of where my head's at. It's in my back pocket if I have to. I'm hoping I don't have to run that far. Um, I'm glad I did today to check it out. So I have something to go on. But uh, yeah, we're going to keep grinding. Well, we're almost back to the ramp and I've been all over the damn place. I can't find any fish anywhere else other than that one little spot. So, unfortunately, I think that's where I'm gonna start. <clears throat> I'm gonna just have something to start on, but it's gonna kill two hours of my day 
fishing time wise is to get there but uh, it is what it is but the problem is there's a boat tournament tomorrow and they're launching before us and there's a boat sitting on there tomorrow morning when I get there that's gonna suck but uh, there's a lot more of that area I did not explore today that uh, I'm gonna go down there tomorrow and look might as well uh, take advantage of those other couple areas that looked similar and uh, we're gonna go from there but I didn't fish a couple things right here by the ramp just to look and then I'm gonna call it a day but uh, we got something to go on so I'm excited I'm hoping I can get there before anybody else does and the good thing was there wasn't any kayaks in the area at all that I saw so hopefully I'll have it to myself um, Hopefully the boats won't be all over it. But there's a couple spots in that, that area that uh, we can get in hopefully and catch something. So but the bite's tough from everybody I talk to. Everybody seems to be having a rough time today. So, hey, we got something to go on and we're gonna roll with it. All right, y'all. <clears throat> all right, y'all, we're back at the ramp. Practice is a wrap for me. Uh, we found something to go off of. So we're going to roll with it, <clears throat> we're going to make the long run and uh, just deal with it. Hopefully you got nobody sitting over there from that boat tournament like I said earlier. So that's what we're going to do, uh, that's all I have to go on, but at least there's something to go on so I'm excited for that. So we're going to go load up and head back to the Airbnb, go to the pre-tournament meeting and uh, meet up with the fellas here in a little bit. Alright, thanks for watching.